Hello internet friends, Snap yet here, so I've just had the brainstorm of creating a new character on the Star Wars Galaxies Legends server. Look at him, he's buzzing about it, muck look. However, that also means we're going to have to redo all of our key binds, all of our UI settings over again. It's going to be a pain and that makes muck look very sad. Oh, he snapped back to it there. But I'm going to talk through how I do that, take a bit of the pain out of it. But before we can create that new character, we need to go out of the game and make note of some of the files in our Star Wars Galaxies Legends installation folder. So let's do that now. So the first thing you need to do is locate your Star Wars Galaxies Legends installation folder, wherever that may be on your computer. So go into Star Wars Galaxies Legends. This is the main folder, the top level, and then we're going into profiles. We're going into the folder that is the name of your profile, not yet for me. And these are all our characters. All I've got three at the moment. And we need to make note of the codes here. So this is one character, the one here that ends in 48. All the, so all those files correspond to one character. This long number ending in 48. The next character ends in 59 and everything ending in 59, those long numbers, that's all one character. And this is all another character. So when we create a new character, there'll be a new set of numbers and all these files again for that new character. So before creating him, let's go back to the top level here and on your you know, profile name, right click, copy and paste. Okay, so now we've got a duplicate of all of those files. Now we'll go back into the game and create our character. Okay, so here's our new character and all his keybinds are messed up. His UI is all over the place. It's a flipping mess. However, you have to do this part. So create the new character, log them into the game so that the files you need to change will be generated outside the game. So just log them in and we're going straight back out again. So we go back to our Star Wars Galaxies Legends installation folder and we're looking for the profiles. So we're going to open the copy in that we made in a new window with all of those files unchanged that we copied before. And in the actual folder, there will be a new profile here, 178. We're going to, this is the one that we're going to modify. So we're going to change all these numbers to any of your characters that has the keybinds and the hood UI setup that you want. So I can use any of mine, but basically I'm going to take this uh, new code. Let's click rename, then control C to copy. Don't change anything there. Just click back out of that. Then go over to the duplicates that you made. Now we're going to change one of these sets of numbers that correspond to one character in sequence. We're going to change them to the new character and they'll appear at the bottom. So we'll change the one that ends in 48 with that new code for the new character. A little bit time consuming. This is the way I've always done it. Knowing me, there will be someone will have created a program that does this, but I'm unaware of it. And this works perfectly fine. It doesn't take too long. It's, it's a lot quicker than rebinding all the keys and remembering how you set things up because once you've got it the way you like, that's kind of it. You don't want to have to do all this again. Rename. Well, actually, you don't have to worry about the chat log and the friend data because that might vary from character to character. But one thing is you won't have this um, space thing when you first log into the game. You can see here the number 78. He doesn't have a space entry. But you can prepare for the future and change this one to your new character's code so that when he does launch into space, he will have the same UI as your character that you've already taken into the space. So then click all of the entries with your new character's number, right click, copy, and click in some space here, right click, paste. It will say you want to overwrite, yes, replace the files in the destination. And they'll have been replaced when we go in game. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be sorted. When you log back into the game, the new character will look a kind of a default appearance. It's kind of strange. And all his inventory, uh, his hotkeys, the abilities that are on the hotbar, will reflect the character that you've kind of ported over. So you have to do a little bit of cleanup. But in the game here, as you can see, the UI is the way I like it now. 
and all of my keybinds, let's just check, should be the way I like it. Yep, they are. I've got those all set up the way I like. And all you have to do is clean up this mess here now, because I have a load of Jedi skills and this guy is a smuggler. So you have to bring all his smuggler skills into the hotbar. But that's a small price to pay for having all the keybinds sorted without having to go through all that again. So I hope that helped you take a little bit of the pain out of creating a new character. I've been Nap yet. If this video was helpful, do let me know in the comments. Maybe like the video and subscribe if you wish. I'll see you later. Bye.